Here is another physics problem. Let's assume we are given this kind of problem that asks you to show that the work done by the spring is actually kx to the power of 2 divided by 2, which is the same thing as writing the work done is going to be a half kx square. If you multiply kx square by 1, this is the same thing as writing work done kx square divided by 2. This equation is the same thing as this. So, to show that the work done by the spring is actually this, or is actually a half x square, and the equation here, we are given the k to be the spring constant, the x is our displacement from the equilibrium position, we can use the formula for work done by the variable for, for, of forces. This is the first formula we need, you, we need to use, followed by the Hooke's law. When we say the work done by the variable of forces is given by, the work done by forces is given by the integral of forces over the displacement. It's going to be the integral of forces, x of i, all over x of f, as function f of x, dx. This is how it is mathematically expressed. The WD is actually stands for work done, and f of x is the force as the function of displacement, s. So, According to the Hooke's law, the force exerted by a spring is directly proportional to the displacement from its equilibrium position and it acts in the opposite direction. So Hooke's law, we need Hooke's law to solve this problem. According to the Hooke's law, this is going to be mathematically expressed as f of x, since we said it's going to be in negative direction, this is going to be negative kx. And also here, the k is the spring constant and x is the displacement from the equilibrium position. Next thing we need to do is to substitute this equation, that is the Hooke's law, into this equation. So how can we do that? In this case, the function f of x is equal to negative kx. We are going to replace the function f of x here by the same negative kx. We are going to bring back our data here. Our work done is actually going to be the integral of x of f, x of i, that is the initial displacement and further displacement into bracket of negative kx dx. Next thing we need to do at this point is to integrate the negative kx with respect to x from the initial displacement to the final displacement. This gives us the total work done by the spring as it undergoes uh, the displacement from the position x of i down to the position x of f. So, and after that, we need to integrate, we evaluate the limit. For us to evaluate the limit, this is going to be our work done is of the integral this time around. We're going to integrate, sorry, we're going to integrate it, which is going to be negative. I'm bringing this formula, which is going to be a half kx square. At this point, we have two different distances, which is x of i. Here is going to be x of i upon x of f. This involves subtracting the value of the integral from the upper limit, which is f of s of x, from the uh, sorry from its value uh, in the lower limit, which is x of i. So at this point, next thing you need to do is to simplify the expression by combining the time the terms. Therefore, if we have sorry. If we have work done, negative a half kx square of f. The only thing I'm doing here in the bracket, we have negative a half kx square. I'm multiplying it by the uh, by the numerator, which is outside, which is uh, x of f. That is the final displacement, and I'm still going to come back and multiply it by the initial displacement. If you do that, remember. Here we are still going to have negative. For me to multiply it by this, let's, I need to create a bracket. A negative negative is going to be positive. Negative a half k x square multiplied by x of i. This is going to be negative half k x of i to the power of two. So next thing you need to do is to simplify further by simplifying the negative sign. For us to simplify the negative sign, we are going to have the work done. This is simply going to be a half kx i upon 2. I'm bringing this to this side. 
this is negative, I'm switching it to this side. In this case, it's going to be positive. But here, we're going to still have one negative, which is going to be a half k x of f squared. So, at this point, we can finally observe that the x of i is typically greater than x of i is typically greater than x of f. Right? That is in the that is in the case of spring compression. So, if that's the case, then we can set x of i upon two is greater than x of f upon two. Because the term I have, because the term I have, k x i to the power of two contribute more work than that is is greater than I have k x square of f. So we can finally conclude the result and say uh, that the work done by the forces is simply going to be a half k x square. And this is it for this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the video helpful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.